this is a video place. of you videoing him. Like, what is Tony Beats doing at the front? <laughs> That's a freaking act. What? Who run that is that? You say that we need to love everybody. That's true. That's even in the Bible. We should all love everybody. We should all love them. You know, we should love everybody. I love gay people. I love it. But that's because I love them doesn't mean I have to support what they do. Does not mean that I have to go along with what they do. Does not mean I got to take my kids to a pride parade because I, because I want to teach my kid that we got to love everybody. I could teach my kid that we got to love everybody by not taking them and exposing them to these type of things. Is the pride parade a place for kids? Y'all let me know in the comment section below, all right? I, I really need to know y'all opinion on the situation. I came across this crazy video. You feel me? This is my first time watching it. But the title says, asking New Yorkers if the Pride Parade is a place for kids. Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section below, okay? Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? We on the grind, baby. All August, the rest of this 2022, we on the grind, baby. Hit the like button, let's get it, let's go. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that those are Latinxes. Hey guys, it's Fuck This. This week we were in Washington Square Park in New York City for the Pride Parade. Let's talk to some people and see what's going on. It's like the fifth Pride we've ever done. I'm not gonna phone it in, I swear. Fuck us talks. Today is Pride. Uh, what's Pride all about to you? Expression, self expression, and self love. <laughs> Absolutely. Some people um, on the other side will say that Pride isn't appropriate and it's kind of like, you know, there's too much crazy stuff going on in the streets for kids. Do you think that Pride is a place for children or no? Oh, most definitely. Why is it important to kind of... That's freaking crazy. That is freaking crazy. Off the rip. How, first, why why do y'all feel like pride is a place for kids? Why do y'all feel like kids should be learning about gay... Bro, why do you... Uh, look, I can't even finish my sentence. There's so many questions I have to ask. Why do y'all feel like this is appropriate for kids? Okay, I seen this video earlier, and I might react to it. I didn't finish watching the full video, but it was like Gen Z, uh, my generation of people they was they was asked they was given like basic questions like name me three countries outside of the U like besides the United States. They couldn't even do that. But they know everything about LGBT. They know everything about like bro, we should be teaching kids at least three countries besides the United States. Like they couldn't even name three countries. But they could they could name anything that's gay, anything that's dealing with this, anything that's dealing with that, they could do. Why do y'all feel like this is a place that kids should be going to? Kids shouldn't be experiencing this, bro. When I was younger, I experienced... Man, I'm not even going to... Man, I'm not even going to talk. Because I'm going to go on and on and on. Let's just get into the video, bro. I'm going to go on and on, bro. And I introduce them to these ideas. Well, because of, like, the future. Like, that's a future generation. Like, obviously, we're a more progressive generation. And it helps, like, open up more for other people in the future. Y'all leading them down the wrong path. Sure. <laughs> That, that's a place for kids. A kid should be watching an old lady that looks like she probably, or old man, I don't even know what that is, but people, kids should be watching this, right? This is a place for kids, y'all. I love it. <laughs> this is get a, a video of you videoing him. Like, what is Tony Beats doing at the front? <laughs> My son, my daughter should be watching the old man. This is the wrong place to pause. I'm, I don't want to look at old man butt talks. You telling me my daughter, my son should be watching. And then look, it's a little kid right here, bro. I feel so bad. Why did his parents take him to this place? Why? This ain't no, this ain't no kitty parade. No, this is a parade for people. Who think they who who think it's cool to be what they are? Who think they feel like God made the made a mistake when creating them? This is disgusting, bro. Who granddaddy is this? This is a old man with a wig on, with a dress on, and with some tight pennies on. This man done took his wife pennies and went to a freaking pop pride parade. This is ridiculous. What's funny? Tony Beats doing at the Pride Parade. I, I saw you dancing in the fountain. A little bit of a show out there. Yeah. And you're getting changed here. What, uh, what's that all about? Well, um, you know, my... Oh, here. 
I'm not reading your butt, bro. I'm not reading your butt. I'm not going to read your butt. What do you say to the people who think maybe this isn't appropriate because there's kids around in the public park? I don't care. They can think whatever they want. <laughs> you, do you think it's something that kids should be exposed to without a choice? Care. I don't care. Have you ever gotten in trouble for public indecency? No. Interesting. Does the city not really crack down on that? Huh? I don't know. Where are you guys from? I'm from Long Island. Yeah? But what, what do you represent? What uh, thing? Are you a publication or what? I'm on a YouTube channel. You're Instagram. YouTube? Okay. I'm just covering pride. What do you call yourself on a YouTube channel? Fleckus Talks. Huh? Fleckus Talks. What? Fleckus Talks. What is it? It's a YouTube channel. What is it? What are you? What are you? The same way you can comprehend his name, the same way I can comprehend what, what, what are you? What do you have going on right here? What, what do you think this is okay? And I'm not here to judge. I'm not judging anybody. I, I, I don't believe that anybody should be judged. But what I am saying is for people to feel like this is an appropriate place for kids to be at, it's ridiculous. For you to say you don't care about the next generation that's coming in after us or after me, should I say? Because it seemed like your generation already passed away. But um, like it just I don't understand. Why do you feel like this is okay? Is it because this is not your grandkids? Is it because this is not your kids? What does it mean? Fleckus is a nickname from college that my drunk friend gave me when he typoed my name in a text. Oh. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about gay pride? I think uh, people should be able to express themselves freely, but I think there may be a line crossed when there's nudity and public indecency with kids, especially in public. Well, Thank okay, you. no worries. Man got so mad. As a, as a, as a God-fearing man, as a Christian, I am against LGBT. Okay, I'm against it. I believe that God didn't make no mistakes when he created it. I believe he made no mistakes when he created any all of us. He has made no mistakes. He made you the way you are for a reason. You have purpose behind your name. You have purpose behind your gender. He didn't make you a male to make to to you for you to want to be a female. Like he didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do that. And in order to get free from it, you have to go to him and say, "Look, Lord, I I want to be free from this." I done watched and I done seen so many people who was gay at one point who came to Jesus Christ and literally got free from it and they switched their whole life around. Now they went from being it's this girl, she was a transgender. And then she went back to being her normal gender. Simple as that. GBTs are on one today, folks. There's a lot of uh, interesting outfits and interesting characters. Do you think uh, that there's some lines crossed when it comes to kids being around and seeing that stuff in public? Um, I don't know. That's a tough question. I mean, I feel like a big part of pride is just like expressing who you are no matter what. And if that's what makes you feel comfortable, then I think that's all like you're place to dress like that wow. great place to bring a baby do you think people should or shouldn't bring their kids to the pride parade i mean it's up to them it's their choice i think like people know what people dress like and what's going on at the pride parade and it's like their choice if they want to bring their kids there or not do you think the kids can understand what's going on um to an extent i think like exposing kids to you know like being open with sexuality and stuff at a young age can be very beneficial So what brings you out here? Uh, I'm visiting from Nashville. Very nice. Uh, what's the mask all about? What do you got going on here? Uh, this is just for putt play. It's just a way to express myself. Uh, what is putt play? Uh, it's sort of... Oh man, <laughs> putting me on the spot. Uh, it's it's really just freedom of expression, honestly. It's Bro, you have on a dog mask. That That's how you express yourself? Maybe I'm missing some. Just a way I can forget about the struggles of being a person and just enjoy myself. Is this your, what's the word, master, owner? I don't uh, want to... Temporarily, yeah, for the weekend. Very yeah, nice. And how does it work? You attach the leash to him? Yeah, I just walk around. And he walks yeah. you around? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Um, some people... What the... What? 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 This... Why? So you telling me this man attaches a leash to you, and, and this and you walk around with a leash attached to you, and you just walk like this. This is a way of expressing myself. I wanna, bro. I wanna be a dog. That's the way of expressing. Myself. I wanna be a dog. Worf, worf. God, God created me a human, but I should have been a dog. Worf, worf. Like, bro. <sighs> 
I'm done pausing. I'm I'm done pausing. We go we go watch it through. I promise. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm done pausing. I'm done pausing. I promise. We brought their kids here, stuff like that. Do you think there's a line when it comes to like public expression and also being like respectful to children and when public? What do you think about that? No, no. Everyone belongs at Pride. Whether you're old, young, king friendly, religious, it doesn't matter. Everyone belongs at Pride. Elijah from Slightly Offensive is here. Always good to see him. Great friend of the show. I support all people. I think it's important today to support all people. Absolutely. I noticed you have your child with you. There are some adult themes here. Do you think that it gets a little tricky as a mom? Or is that something that you're okay with your child seeing? There's some like, you know, people kind of with their butts out and doing bedroom stuff. No, I think it's important to share with my child that because we have to love everybody the way they are. It's, it's important. The most important thing is to to share with her that... Uh, okay, hold on. It's important. The most important thing is to to share with her that we have to to love everybody without everything. It might be some... It might be some okay. First off, I know I said I'm done pausing. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. But it's a lot that's going on right now. Okay? It's a lot. You say that we need to love everybody. That's true. That's even in the Bible. We should all love everybody. We should all love them. You know, we should love everybody. I love gay people. I love it. But that's because I love them doesn't mean I have to support what they do. Does not mean that I have to go along with what they do. Does not mean I got to take my kids to a pride parade because I, because I want to teach my kid that we got to love everybody. I could teach my kid that we got to love everybody by not taking them and exposing them to these type of things. When I was young, I was exposed to this type of stuff. I actually was exposed to a house filled with transsexuals. Transgenders. I was I was exposed to a house filled with transgenders, not by my parents. It was because my parents dropped me off at a place, you know what I'm saying? Like just so somebody can watch me. And in that house, you know, my parents didn't even know, but in that house, it was nothing but transgenders. I was exposed to that at a young age, and that that followed me all the way until my teenage years. So you tell them you're gonna expose your child to something that's like this. That that can that can literally provoke their mind. That can uh, that can do so much stuff to their mind. You go, you are gonna take your child to these type of things, and it's gonna lead them all the way into their teenage years. Now your child is gonna be questioning their sexuality, and you better hope that they don't get touched. Cause I got touched, which made me question my sexuality. And I made a video about that. I'm very open about that. But this, this is ridiculous, bro. We can love everybody, but we don't gotta support what everybody do. Confusing a little bit sometimes. I'm sure. No, actually, I think that that is important to introduce her because if maybe when they are grow, they are bigger, can be more confused. The other day, a kid I babysit who's 11 told me so confidently, she's like, yeah, I'm pansexual. And I was like, yes, like, you know, like, say it. Um, yes, yes, you say yes to them. Why? Why? That's weird. It's not weird, but I'm just saying, like, dude, it's 11. He's 11, bro. She's 11, whatever. It's 11. Why do they even, why do they even know what that means? I didn't know what pansexual mean until I was, what, probably, like, 17. No, not even 17. 18. Last year is when I finally found out what that word actually meant. This is ridiculous, bro. So, like, for her, I would love for there to maybe be a section of pride that, like, kids can enjoy and, like, learn about and feel good in. And when it comes to gender and gender identity, that's something that's kind of new in the news lately. Uh, when do you think it's appropriate to talk to children about how they identify, whether they're a boy or a girl or otherwise? I would say, like, from a very young age, like, not, like, press it on them, but, like, be, like, Hey, just letting you know, like, this is, like, there's more than two genders. Like, there's, like, you could be whatever the heck you want when you're old. No, it's, it's, it's two genders. It's two genders. It's not more than two. It's two genders. Male and female. Simple as that. Older will love you regardless. Like, it should be very open, and it, it should be an open discussion. They feel comfortable to come to me as, like, a parent. There's a Pride Parade going on. Right. Uh, do you guys checking that out? A little surprise. No, not really. <laughs> not, not willfully, but we're, we're still trying to see, like, this park's amazing. Yeah. You know, so we're, we're checking the stuff out that's, that's relevant to us. Lots of good action in the city today. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah. I saw some ladyboy stuff, and... A lot of know. stuff that you probably wouldn't want kids to see. No. Nope, nope, this is my 17-year-old no. son that I don't really want seeing, but... Uh, I see kids in strollers, kids running around, and it's just like you see people basically naked, their butt out, doing, like, yeah. bedroom stuff. It's not the most appropriate. Yeah, it's way beyond our... what we're, we're used to. Yeah. 
Do you think it would be better if, say, a baby was born biologically a male with male anatomy to not gender them until they're older or to assume that they're a boy until they tell you otherwise? I would say it's up to, like, I would, obviously, you wouldn't know until the moment. I wouldn't say, like, oh, most definitely do that because, like, obviously I haven't had a kid yet. I don't know what I would do. In the moment, I'll figure it out. Like, but I would like it to be where it's, like, until the moment, like, if you, it's just whatever they want to do. And then how many, some people say there's only two genders. How many genders uh, are there in your mind? Infinite. Uh, is it your daughter? Yeah. Um, if is, is that something, gender is a big thing with parents now. Is there something you've talked about with her or not yet? If she were to identify as a boy or a girl, would you respect that or wait until she's older? That's a complicated question because for my culture, I'm from another country, from Colombia. Uh, we have some things, I have, for example, the, the earrings uh, or the things that um, give her a gender, but... <laughs> if she told you she was a boy, would you say that's okay? Yes, I support 100%. How old is she? She's 14 months. Oh, wow. Hello. You having fun? Yes, see, I love colors, right? I'm enjoying. She's an ally. So we're here at the Pride Parade? Uh, what brings you out here today? Um, we're allies. We wouldn't miss a year. I don't think we've ever missed a year since we were old enough. Very nice. Um, and you have a child with you. Um, yeah. There are some maybe adult topics at the Pride Parade. How do you handle that? Um, it, there's adult topics in regular life too, like dealing with you know sexism, uh, pay, uh, you know, patronizing behavior and things that are learned on regular TV. Why not learn about the other side? This is filthy. I'm sorry. This uh, that, that's so filthy, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Je veux un grand sourire avec le fromage, le jambon, mais je travaille avec le avec Tony Beans for the interviews. What age do you think it's appropriate to start making decisions? Maybe like you say he wanted to be a she. Would you go to hormone therapy and go down that road, or would you kind of hold off on that? Um, well, it would depend. It would depend on the situation. So I know there's a lot of like. You know, the intersex uh, children with are, are born with, with like kind of stuff on equal sides. We're letting him have the the um, the authority and the onus to decide what he wants to be. We're not influencing anything. I think one of the earliest questions that he had when he was in kindergarten was he he was in love with one of his friends, like his best friend. That was like the first time he felt like friendship love. And he also had his other best friend, which is a girl, and he asked, he's like, is, can I marry my friend, um, Evan? And I said, yeah. And like, so he's like understanding and knowing that there's no, there's no rules now. Like, you, you, you know, we're not subject to like the teaching of our church that is like. This world is literally becoming an abomination. This world is going down freaking hill. This is the stuff that we're teaching our children. Our son comes home and says, Can I marry my best friend, Evan? Can I marry my best friend, Michael? Oh, yeah, sure. Now, you just told your son this, but what if the other child parents is not... What if the other child parents is against this? And your son go back to school and talking about, Well, my parents said we can get married. Now you're now that's now that kid is pushing on to the other kid that gay marriage is okay. That man and man should be together. But what if that other kid parents, what if Evan parents was against all this and they wasn't for this? They they wasn't they wasn't with this. So now your son just just literally did something to that little boy Evan mind to think that this is okay. Pushing and imposing a position onto something that feels so unnatural to that individual. We're just letting him have the freedom. Is this, there are some interesting characters. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, he's a kid growing up in New York City. Yeah. You know, it's part of it. When it comes to the way you're raising your child, uh, gender is a big topic now with parents and uh, children. How are you tackling that issue? Um, we're t I, 
in some ways I'm I'm old fashioned, but I'm an old fashioned ally. So I want him to know that you know he's got the freedom to do whatever he wants as long as he does it safely and as long as he does it with mindfulness and respect to the communities around him. Um, and using the he pronouns, if your child were to tell you that they would felt more feminine or she, how would you tackle that? Whatever, whatever he wanted. He, if he wants to be a they, if if he wants to be a she, if if he becomes something down the road and then changes his mind after that, we're here. We're flexible. How old is your child? He's seven. There are some kind of naked people and people that are exposing themselves in certain ways. Do you think that is something that you'd rather not see in public, especially with children? With my kids, yeah. Yeah. So that would be kind of maybe the only disclaimer and note about pride maybe if they had a little more clothes on in certain situations it'd be a little bit better well the, i mean the most that we've seen really is people in like mesh outfits but then like i don't even think the kids have noticed are you guys here at the pride parade celebrating um i mean i'm just here with my girlfriend we just celebrating a little so bit you're not a homosexual nah. <laughs> supporter supporter you're an ally um there's a lot of interesting things going on but there are also some kids out it is public do you think there's a line when it comes to what's appropriate and what should be done when there's kids present I mean, honestly, like, if you're bringing your kids out here, like, I feel like that's cool and all, but I wouldn't bring my kids out here, you know? Like, yeah, and we're out in public. People probably shouldn't be, like, fully exposed naked or whatever, following the yeah. laws, ideally. I haven't, seen, I haven't really seen much of that right now, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see it soon. Who knows? Yeah, hey. Pride's cool. Do what you want, but once there's kids around, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a line. There's a line. You got to kind of take a stand. With the kids, yeah, with the kids. You can't yeah. be doing that. That's, that's fucked up. Face, love it. Thanks, man. Strong young man. Yo, what's your All right, another fucking stocks in the books. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. All right. Um, first off, this was the most disgusting video I have seen in a minute. Not, not, not against him. Not against the interviewer. He's a cool guy. Cool, cool stand-up dude. But. From what people were saying, this is disgusting, bro. This is ridiculous. Like, this is, nah, this is not cool. Uh, but anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Like, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Is the proper way a place for kids? Y'all let me know that in the comment section below. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.